Finally at six, we officially hit a heat wave this afternoon. Another heat wave. Heat waves and we're right in the middle here of our greatest heat wave action. Another round of record setting temperatures as an oppressive pre summer heat wave bakes the nation. That heat index up to around 100 degrees today. Whether you're new to the hobby or you have been in the hobby for years, you will eventually have to contend with heat management, usually in those hot summer months. I have compiled a list of my top five go to DIY methods to cool my tanks when it gets too warm out there, starting now. When it's just you, well, times can be tough. When there's no one there Whether you have a small tank, a room full of tanks, or maybe you have a garage with some large tanks like me, your fish can't escape to the depths when you have them in a glass box. So it's our responsibility to ensure we try our best to keep them in the temperature range they prefer. And the easiest way to do that is to cool the space. That's right, pull out that old AC unit and fire it up. If you're like me though, with your tanks in the garage, you have to be a little more creative. In my case, I opened the door and put a fan in a room with AC to blow that cooler air into the fish room. Maybe you don't have AC, or your landlord won't let you put a window unit in. Then what? This next tip could be the ticket. Get yourself some water bottles, wash the outside of them first, and thoroughly dry them. Fill them with cold water and toss them in the tank, or put them in the freezer. Now you have DIY ice packs. In a couple hours, you can put them in your tank to help keep that temp in the right range. You can also buy ice packs and use them, but if you use the chemical ones, I would recommend putting them in a sealed plastic bag before you put them in your tank. Remember, smaller tanks will cool faster, so don't plop and go. You have to check on that tank or you could kill your fish. This next tip is a lot less risky, and that would be do more frequent water changes. If the room is 85, then the tanks will get to 85. And if you keep fish that prefer cooler temps, that is gonna be no bueno. Doing a water change of about 25 to 50% will help bring those temps down. Just remember, the temp will go back up in the tank, faster in those small tanks than say a 75 gallon tank. In many cases, your fish may be okay with the temps going up because it does that frequently in the region they were originally from. If that is the case, you could add a little peace of mind to your tank to ensure their safety. This one is pretty simple and you may already have it in your tank and that would be an air stone. When water gets warmer, it holds less oxygen. So adding an air stone to your tank is a great way to increase surface agitation and get more air absorbed into the water. As well as a bonus side effect of helping lower the temp in the tank through evaporation. If you want to learn more about air pumps and what they do, John of KG Tropicals made a great video all about them and the link is in the top right corner. There's also a link in the description down below. This last tip is doable in most cases, but isn't the cheapest way by any means but you could install a drip and overflow system in your tanks so that water is constantly being run through your tank or fish room to keep them at the correct temperature. You would need a filter to remove chlorine from your water system if you're on city water, as well as a means to overflow the tank, either down a drain, under a garage door, or even out a window if the tank is so positioned. I did a video a couple years ago when I did a removable DIY overflow in my fish room. The link for that should be in the top right corner now, as well as in the description section down below. Our fish are very important to us. They help us relax and in return, it's our responsibility to ensure they're safe and healthy. I hope these tips were of help to you. If they were, please remember to share, like, and subscribe. And just remember, guys and gals, we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time. Bye now.